continuing to read the book of Revelations, speaking to the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem, Revelation chapter 16. Then I heard a mighty voice from the temple say to the seven angels, Go to your ways and pour out on the earth the seven bowls containing God's wrath. So the first angel left the temple and poured out his bowl on the earth, and horrible malignant swords broke out on everyone who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his statue. Then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea, and it became like the blood of a corpse, and everything in the sea died. Then the third angel poured out his bowl on the rivers and springs, and they became blood. And I heard the angel who had authority over all the water saying, You are just, O Holy One, who is and who was and always will be, because you have sent these judgments. Since they shed the blood of your holy people and your prophets, you have given them blood to drink. It is their just reward. And I heard a voice from the altar saying, Yes, O Lord God, the Almighty, your judgments are true and just. Then the fourth angel poured out his bow on the sun, causing it to scorch everything with its fire. Everyone was burned by this blast of heat, and they cursed the name of God, who had control over all these plagues. They did not repent of their sins and turn to God and give him glory. Then the fifth angel poured out his bow on the throne of the beast, and his kingdom was plunged into darkness. His subjects ground his teeth in anguish, and they cursed the God of heaven for their pains and sores. But they did not repent of their evil deeds and turn to God. Then the sixth angel poured out his bow on the great river Euphrates, and it dried up so that the kings from the east could not march their armies toward the west without hindrance. And I saw the three evil spirits that looked like frogs leap from the mouth of the dragon. The beast and the false prophet, they are demonic spirits who work miracles and go out to all the rulers of the world to gather them from the battle against the Lord on that great judgment day of God the Almighty. Look, I will come as unexpectedly as a thief. Blessed are those who watching for me who keep their clothing ready so they will not have to walk around naked and unashamed. And the demonic spirits gathered all the rulers and their armies to a place which is in the Hebrew name Armageddon. Then the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air and a mighty shout came from the throne in the temple saying, It is finished. Then the thunder crashed and rolled and a lightning flashed and a great earthquake struck the worst since people were placed on the earth. The great city of Babylon split in three sections and the cities of many nations fell into heaps of rubble. So God remembered all of Babylon's sins and he made her drink the cup that was filled with the wine of his fierce wrath. And every island disappeared and all the mountains were leveled. There was a terrible hailstorm and hailstones weighing 75 pounds fell from the sky onto the people below. They cursed God because of the horrible, terrible plague of the hailstorm. Chapter 17. One of the seven angels who had poured out the seven bowls came over and spoke to me. Come with me, he said, and I will show you judgment that is going to come on the great prostitute who rules over many waters. The kings of the world have committed adultery with her, and the people who belong to this world have been made drunk by the wine of her immorality. So the angel took me into the spirit, into the wilderness. There I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that had seven heads and ten thorn horns, and the blasphemies against God were written all over it. The woman wore purple and scarlet clothing and beautiful jewelry made of gold and precious gems and pearls. In her hand, she held a gold goblet full of the obscenities and the impurities of her immorality. A mysterious name was written on her forehead, 
Babylon the Great, mother of all prostitutes and obscenities in the world. I could see that she was drunk, drunk with the blood of God's holy people who were witnesses for Jesus. I stared at her in complete amazement. Why are you so amazed, the angel asked. I will tell you the mystery of this woman and of the beast with the seven heads and ten horns on which she sits. The beast you saw was one alive, but isn't now. And yet he will soon come up out of the bottomless pit and go to the eternal destruction. And the people belong to this world, whose names were not written in the book of life before the world was made, will be amazed at the reappearance of this beast who has died. This calls for a mind and understanding. The seven heads of the beast re represent the seven hills where the woman rules. They also represent seven kings. Five kings have already fallen. The seventh now reigns and the seventh is yet to come. But his reign will be brief. The scarlet beast that was was but is no longer is the eighth king he is like the other seven and he too is headed for destruction the ten horns of the beast are the ten kings who have not yet risen to power they will be appointed to their kingdoms for one brief moment to reign with the beast they will all agree to him in power and authority together they will go to war against the lamb the Lamb will defeat them because He is Lord of all lords and King of all kings. And His chosen and called are faithful ones will be with Him. Then the angel said to me, The waters where the prostitute is rising represent masses of people of every nation and language. The scarlet beast and his ten horns all hate the prostitute. They will strip her naked, eat her flesh, and burn her remains with fire. But God has put a plan into their men, into their minds, a plan that will carry out his purposes. They will agree to give their authority to the scarlet beast, and so the words of God will be fulfilled. And this woman you saw in your vision represents the great city that rules over the kings of the world.